can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Let's start with a circle. Now let's draw some squares inside the circle. Having side lengths of 1 cm, 2 cm, and 3 cm respectively. Now the question is, what is the length of the radius of this circle? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video, now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so our goal in this question is to find out the length of the radius. R. All right. Now, to answer this question, we will use the symmetry of this figure. So, what we're going to do is to draw another 2 by 2 square like this in this side and another 1 by 1 square in this side. All right. Next. So, they are symmetric, of course. Now, let's extend this side of this 1 by 1 square like this and notice if we drop all of this square, this is perfectly fit in this segment. So we can now find the length of the segment. This is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 centimeters. All right? All right. So let's go back to our figure. Next, let's extend this side of 2 by 2 square like this. And the question is, what is the length of this piece? Of course, this is just one centimeter or the side of this small square. All right. Now, also take note that those segments are perpendicular to one another. Now, the big question is, what is the length of this segment? So this is just three centimeters plus two centimeters plus 1 centimeter or simply equal to 6 centimeters. Next, how long is this segment? This is 3 centimeters plus 2 centimeters plus 1 centimeter or simply equal to 6 centimeters also. Next, how long is the segment? This is 1 centimeter plus 2 centimeters or simply equal to 3 centimeters. Now, basically speaking, if we want to find the measure of the segment, we can use chord chord power theorem or we can use the symmetry of this figure and we can say that the length of this segment, the remaining segment, is just 3 centimeters. Alright, now, what we're going to do is to erase all of this square and let's have this figure. Again, take note, these two chords are perpendicular to each other. And since we know the measure of this small segments 6, 6, 3, and 3 centimeters respectively, we can use this theorem. So we can use the relationship between the segments A, B, C, D, and the radius of the circle. This is just 4R squared equals A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared. So we will have a video that proves this relationship. All right, but for now, let's use this to our question. So. We have 4R squared, where the radius of the circle must be equal to 3 squared plus 6 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared. Now, this 3 squared, this is just 9. So let's simplify this. And uh, 6 squared, this is just 36. Now, 9 plus 36, we know this is 45. 45 plus 45, so we have 90 on the right-hand side. Divide both sides by 4. Next, get the square root on both sides, and we know that we have one possible sign here. We have positive values for r because this r is the length of the radius of the circle. So we know this is a positive real number. All right, now let's simplify. Square root of 90 over 4, we can write this as square root of 90 over square root of 4. Now, this 90, we can use this factor 9 times 10 because 9 is a perfect square. So the numerator is just 3 multiplied by square root of 10. The denominator, this is just 2. And that is the length of the radius, r. So given this figure, then the length of the radius of this big circle must be equal to 3 times square root of 10 all over 2 centimeters. And as always, we are done.